Hey there guys, today I'm back working on the container shop and I'm going to show you how I made some DIY track lighting out of metal tubing, some ordinary shop lights, and a few other things I had on hand. The first thing I wanted to tackle on this project was to create the tracks that the lights would eventually slide in. And to do this I'm using a plasma cutter to cut a channel and some metal tubing. But you don't need a plasma cutter to do this because an angle grinder with a cutoff wheel can do just as good of a job, albeit quite a bit slower. Once my tracks were finished, I then installed them underneath the awning and then got started on the brackets that would hold these clutch LED shop lights. These things are pretty awesome and just so darn useful and that was actually one of the inspirations for this whole project. I just wanted to be able to use them in more ways than just floor mounted shop lights. To make the sliding mechanism for the track, I'm just using a bolt and this little curved piece of metal, I think it was from an old IKEA kit, um, and then assembling them like that. This one's already epoxied together, but this top end just slides inside the track and it actually slides pretty darn smoothly and then the bottom end will hold the light uh, bracket. This is one half of the base that the lights will eventually mount to, and I've just added this little swivel mechanism with some opposing holes drilled that line up with the other end of this faceplate, so that when I put the other half on that the lights will be mounted to, I'll be able to flip it over and set my screws um, and keep this uh, anchored on. So I made one change to this part of the base that has the swivel mechanism and that was to rip just a little bit on the table saw. Uh, when I was trying to slide it into these aluminum tracks it kept getting kind of bound up and didn't move as freely so I just basically took a little bit of wood and I guess I'm probably not going to do anything with that. Maybe I'll put some wax. But you'll see it slides much easier now. If you're wondering what this bolt and wing nut assembly is for, that is to keep this swivel action from moving. You see it moves and glides real easy, uh, but when I want to adjust the lights and hold them in place, I will simply tension that down to give it a little bit of added friction so it'll stay in place.
Okay, so that is pretty much it. Overall, I am pretty happy with the way the tracks turned out. Uh, they are not 100% quiet since it is kind of a rough DIY job, but they are fully functional and I think I'm going to get a lot of good use. And I also really love the fact that I can take those shop lights down and just use them for, I guess, their original intention. Um, to answer a couple of questions I think that some people might have, uh, where is the power supply coming from? Well, that's just simply an extension cord that I'm just pulling uh, to power the lights. I know it's not not fancy. Um, and then the other question I think a lot of people might have is why am I not putting just regular shop lights uh, underneath there like I have in this shop? Uh, the quick answer for that is I just didn't want to run power uh, there. I kind of built this structure as kind of a uh, um, temporary in place uh, structure. Uh, that's why it's on blocks. It's not affixed to the ground or anything like that. And I just didn't want to run a bunch of extra power to the awning in case I ever did decide to move this, which I have no intentions of moving it, but just in case. And on to the reoccurring question that I've been doing as part of all of these shipping container shop videos. What is to come in the next phase of this shop project? Uh, that may be a bit familiar to those of you who have followed this project for any amount of time, but I'll rehash it anyway for those who might be new and also to remind myself of the projects I need to be working on. Uh, that is going to include my uh, main tinkering workbench that'll go along that back wall, um, a tool cubby with shelves along that wall, as well as little tool cubbies along uh, or nearby all of the tool stations, and then uh, some shelves just along the back wall as well. On the back side of the uh, shop, I'm going to be doing a little awning that I can store my uh, pneumatic powered fire trailer uh, just because I've been wanting to do it and I need to get it out of the garage. And then on the front side, I want to put rock or pavers or something to level out that uh, under awning section so that I can build a nice uh, welding bench that I will also use as like a main workbench. I'll have like a wooden top that I can place on it uh, to use for like normal projects. And then I can take it off and just using it, uh, use it as a welding bench. But I'm going to need a nice uh, flat surface to do that with. So uh, I probably won't pour concrete because <laughs> uh, the cost is just going to be way too high on that. Uh, so that will definitely be a project. Oh yes, and uh, the other little project uh, for storage in here, I want to make uh, the rolling tool cubbies that will store underneath some of these workbenches as well as the main workbench uh, that might have drawers but I can roll out uh, to kind of use for projects uh, as, <laughs> as I need tools for them. And then the last topic I wanted to talk about was on the Homesteadonomics t-shirts. If you'll remember a couple of videos back, my neighbors Jason and Erica made a cool custom t-shirt for me for my birthday uh, from a mutual friend of ours. And anyway, I talked to her, her name's Monica, and I asked her if she'd be willing to make some if people were interested. She said yes. Uh, she's still trying to get together uh, the kind of PayPal billing, uh, invoicing kind of stuff. So for now, if you guys are interested, uh, click on the About tab in my channel page and you can get my email address send me your name and an email well, I guess I'll have it if you send me an email um, and then I will forward that list to her and she will contact you seeing what size you want if you want the big logo or if you want like a little chess logo like this and all that good stuff so as always guys I really appreciate you watching I want to try to have many of these next videos coming uh, much quicker <laughs> I guess I always say that. But as always, I appreciate you watching. Uh, give a thumbs up if you like it. And as always, uh, we will see you next time.